Thank you, Mom. Thank you very much. And for all of your work you've done today, we salute you too. Thank you. Well, I'm honored to be with so many patriots here today. Thank you for what you've done for our country. Thank you for rescuing our servicemen, our men in planes, fighting for freedom and independence. We're reminded that we just celebrated a birthday. 231 years ago, our country started. And we fought for the same things, same things that you fought for, that we asked you to fight for, and you did. Thank you. So as we stand in this uh, little bit more of a room, I look out and see the people that is our country's meet, as we become all Americans, as we look to generations down the line, as I see the young people in the room, I look at them as the next elected people that will lead this country, not just mom, but this country. Those that will be in law school. Those that will be doctors. Those that will be teachers. Those that work now to make sure everybody integrates. It's an honor to have you here, and it's an honor to be here with you today. I know you've traveled very far. Many people have come from all over the state. And we're happy to have you here in Fresno. We wish we could have given you 70 degree weather but we'll try that next time. I know there's a lot of fear in the room in terms of what is happening now and what is the stance from the government. I'm a local assemblyman. I work in state government. I'm here to tell you this state government supports you. There are colleagues from the federal government, local government, everywhere across the board, but I have colleagues I work with here, Juan Arandola, Dave Cogdell, and others, but we are telling you from the state level, we look forward to working with you, we look forward to continuing our constituent services for you, and we look forward to working with our congressional colleagues to make sure that we are trying to find what you're looking for, material support from the president for those that serve. Thank you. There's one person from my parents. Yeah. 
that sacrificed their lives for the United States. And for that, we are all grateful. Over the years, when problems and concerns have arisen within the Hmong community, particularly regarding human rights abuses, you have come to me and to my office for support and advice. I have always put forth my best effort to represent you in Washington to the federal government, and today I assure you that I will continue to do so to the best of my abilities. Recently, there has been concern over the mall being classified by the United States Department of State as terrorist groups. I want to assure you today that I have been in contact with the State Department to express my deep concerns with the situation and ask for a prompt resolution. I would also like to take this opportunity to remind the Hmong communities that the Congressman's door is always open to you. Again, thank you all for being here today. Have a wonderful day and God bless.